Good day, folks. I'd like to take this time something interesting. I was going through some of my old photos and it reminded me of my old lab. Believe it or not, I had a lab some years ago. And I was much more serious back then in the uh, free energy experiments because I had a friend who had donated me a whole bunch of NASA calibrated equipment, anything for, um, from high amps power supplies to network analyzers to scopes to frequency generators, frequency amplifiers, you name it. Everything that was very special that you would only find in a lab, I had access to and I was experimenting from this location. Now, it all went down really bad because I started um, experimenting as well with the Hutchinson effect and I actually had some uh, rock samples and of course I started being impressed with some of the results and I started showing the neighbors around what I was up to and what I was doing and when the landlord found out he freaked right out at these experiments. It started off with he didn't like that quote unquote I was using too much electricity and then it quickly evolved to him calling the cops and just like that locking me out of the place and accusing me of espionage of the country. I actually needed to get some legal help to stay out of jail. It turned out to a big uh, show for nothing but it was really difficult for me at the time because um, I have Asperger's syndrome which is a, um, a variant of autism so I had a hard time dealing with all of that on the spot when it all hit me and with that said I lost all my stuff all my equipment I got locked out I just had a chance to maybe take a laptop or two so everything you see there in those photos uh, I have my equipment is all gone. I never had access to it and because of my uh, gear to income with my disability here um, I didn't have enough money to actually take them to small claims court and you know the two years naturally ran out so I lost out on all of that plus all the drama I had to put up with so there is a bit of a um, lesson learned here is you know even though as interesting as this stuff is you have to be careful even with your neighbors because they can make up a story and if everyone around you including the local town police is really ignorant when it comes to this stuff all they need as, as the cop actually told me when he walked in there is all he needs is probable cause that something like that could be going on he doesn't need to be an expert in electronics or anything if it just quote unquote looks bad to him it's enough to get a warden throw me in jail it was a really really big thing and they were ready to do it which was like the craziest thing folks so um, with that said don't move to Timmins Ontario not a very good place uh, very clicky cops but that comes with every territory right so nothing new there so with that said you know I'm just showing you that I've been into this stuff a lot longer than what I have on my YouTube I've been doing it since I was a teenager and believe it or not I had a lot more access to professional equipment in the earlier part of my life I actually did much more serious experiments so it's not like I come from an angle where I have no clue what's going on when I do the projects today. I, have, I had an actual pretty good foundation. It's just these days I'm really poor and I use what I have to work with and I'm more focused on the alternative energy, you know, using the environment and showing, you know, small scale concepts and just exploiting what I could find with what I got here. No more lab, a lot of the equipment is gone, but it still doesn't stop me as you can see. I release everything I can folks and I'll keep doing that it's just it might be a little slow there because it's winter and it's very cold here and I don't get out much or you don't go to the post office as often you don't go to the hardware store to stock up on tape you know when it's minus 30 Fahrenheit out there you don't really want to go out you know unless it's an absolute emergency you need food or something so with that said you know I will be back and again thank you all for your support and your continued um, watching of my videos and the comments and have yourselves all a great day.